Hey guys, Super Sport 1966 here, aka Steven. Um, I wanted to show you another quick tip. I'm going to go ahead and uh, auto home my print head here. I don't know if you can see it from this far away, but on the end of the tip here, I've got a little bit of melted plastic. So, what I'm going to show you is pretty helpful for that, and a lot of other things. Okay, so it's ready to go. I've created a little tiny box for this demo, so I'm going to print a little box. But I want you to watch what happens here. So I went ahead and sent it. Now I've got some G-code in my startup and my finished scripts. My temperature's getting up there. Um, I'm printing at 210 print head, 60 bed temperature. I'm almost there. Just past the 210, so it'll go back down for a second, and then it'll start. So watch what happens here. I've got it set so that the print head lifts itself up, which is going to stretch out that little ball of plastic on the table and keep it from sticking to the print head. Then it's going to move across over that clip, set itself back down, do a prime, and then wipe the nozzle so it's nice and clean so I can start out in the middle of the bed over there. So it should go any second here. There we go. You can see there it's stretching out that bit of plastic. Pulled it off the head so it's not stuck there in a big glob in the print. Now it's doing a prime. Wipe the nozzle. Now I'm going out to the middle to do the actual print. This will take a second. It's a two millimeter tall box. And then when it finishes, you'll see my ending script here. And these are all things that I've obviously borrowed from other people because I'm new to this. I'm like, what, a month and a half into this probably. Um, but I've been gleaning a lot of good information and I'm putting it all together for my use. Oh no, I think I printed it fine resolution, so this may take longer than I wanted it to. Yeah, most definitely. All right, I'll have to speed up that part of the video. So at the end of the print, what's going to happen is it's going to spit the bed out towards me, get it out from under the print head so that I can easily remove that part. It'll place the print head over in the far left corner. Um, and then it's going to play a little song, so if I'm in the other room, I know that the print is done. And again, I borrowed all this script. I did modify some things, but um, I did borrow the basic scripts. So I doubled the song, because sometimes I didn't hear it on the first try. Um, but as you can see, it spit out the print, so it's sitting right here, easy to, to remove. Get my removal tool here. I always pull the band off first. And there we go. Ready for the next print. All right. Just wanted to share that. Thanks, guys. So in order to add this to Cura, we're going to go into Preferences, and then we're going to select Machine Settings. In other slicing programs, um, just find the spot where you can enter your start and ending scripts. So we'll go into machine settings and as you can see we'll paste the start code into the left box and the end code into the right box. Um, you can also see here I have set my bed size to 295, 295, 395 just because I never want to hit the end during a print. So here's all the code and for convenience I will also put this down in the description so you can just copy and paste the start and end scripts. Just don't uh, paste the title starting script and ending script, just, just the smaller text there. 